Hey everybody, it's Schnevilda. So this project today is mostly um, because I recently got the Cinch by Weary Memory Keepers for my birthday. And I wanted to play with it. Wanted to try it out. Wanted to see how things work because I've never used it before. So I just wanted to make something with it. And so I just kind of... This is my excuse, <laughs> really, just to play with my cinch. Um, so I was just looking at my papers and found a set of papers that I, I got this a long time ago. Um, I really don't remember when, um, but I just thought they were, it was really cute papers and I've been wanting to play with them, so the perfect little project. And this actually ended up being pretty simple, so you'll see not that difficult and that um, did it pretty much in one day and the cinch was actually quite easy um, so I did kind of mess up one little thing um, if you can see you might not be able to see, see there you can kind of see that this end one got a little wonky mostly because when I put it in um, it was almost perfect, but this one was just out when I clamped it down, and I wasn't paying attention, and I didn't realize it was going to smoosh it. So, yes, it smooshed it. So, but, I mean, you really can't tell it too bad unless you get to a certain angle. You can see, yeah, uh, yeah, you got smooshed. So, it worked pretty well, though, so I'm pretty happy with it and really enjoyed. I think I'll have a lot of fun with my cinch. So the paper is, what is it called? Uh, when We First Met. And I used most of the um, the front page, you know, that had the name on it. And I would say what company it's from, but I'm not going to bother because I will never be able to pronounce that. And I, it'll just be insulting. <laughs> I do not know how to pronounce that, but it's um, made in Poland. And like I said, this is... Um, pretty old, uh, probably at least, maybe at least two years, at least two years. I know that's not pretty old, but I have no idea really how much older than that because I got it from the shop, a uh, friend's shop who, sh her shop recently closed and that's been about two years now. So it's at least that old. Um, and I know that sometimes it's hard to get older papers, um, too far after but anyways there is the there's the name and like I said it was when we first met <laughs> I used the rest of the paper for because it was the only one that had this background to it so I used it in the book so anyway um all I did for the cover is I took one of the pages so this was a 12 by 12 um, set of papers and I just laminated it so for the front and the back cover it's the same page and all I did was run it through my laminator it gives it a little more stability but this is not you know it's not a chipboard or anything stab stability wise but I think it works real nice for a cover it does have nice stability to it so not too bad and the set had some journal cards and other um, ephemera pieces that you could use. So this is one of the journal cards and one of the ephemera pieces. I did add some jewels throughout the book. Now, what I did here was I just put it on some card, um, craft card stock and then just glued it right to the, so that's not under the laminate, as you can see, that's on top. And I like that look. So that's my cover. And then throughout, all I did, there's no, um, the pages aren't cardstock. It's just the pages from the paper set. Some of them you I found are a lot thicker than others, which I found interesting. <laughs> but I have it, I think what it was was that for every sheet, there was like a, a thinner version and a slightly thicker version. So I didn't really notice that until I started going through the completion. I started, 
That is a lot thicker than the exact same one, but yeah. So anyways, like I said, I didn't do um, much to it. I did use some silver ink around the edges. I like, gives it kind of a smoky look. And then I did add some decoration, but not a whole lot. And so these stamps are by La Blanche. And I used my, uh, what is that, frame punch board by We Are Memory Keepers to make the little frame and then some acrylic sheets. And I'm not going to pull this out because it's kind of a pain in the butt. But just put some tabs on with some of my stash because it, it will go in there. It's really not meant to be pulled in and out, but you can do that. It was really just so that you can get it out easily, put your picture on there, and put it in. <laughs> Could have made it a little bigger, but, you know. And then throughout, I did use some word labels that I had in my stash, some other little labels, and then I got this absolutely gigantic set of stickers at our version here in Germany. It's kind of, kind of the version of the dollar store, like the crafty home store version of the dollar store called Teddy. Really nice little store, and it's got a lot of really cute little crafty items um, for a lot, for cheap for Germany. <laughs> and so I used a lot of the stickers from there. And then, like I said, a, a bunch of little jewels. And then just some transfer paper, some vellum and cut a bunch of circles out for a little decoration from some of the pages. I like to add the vellum pages. And what I do to, when I put something on vellum, I use my Xyron. If you glue this, you'll see the glue pattern on the other side. So, of course, you could, you know, just put a matching circle over that, then you wouldn't see the glue. But if you have like a adhesive sheet where you can add the adhesive so it's uniform or like I said, I use my Xyron, then the adhesive is uniform and then you can see you don't see any adhesive pattern on the other side of the vellum. So if you don't like that look, you know, if you like the look of having, you know, you know, see both sides, but you don't like the look of the glue, that's one way to get around that. This page is actually, so you can see this is the bottom. Oops, let's scroll that down there, but this is the bottom of this header page. And it's just the display to show you all the different pages that are in the paper set. And I like to utilize everything I can, so I think it's very pretty. And then I just folded it over to make a little pocket. And I had the leftover bits from the pieces that I ended up using in here. Um, I used every one of them to make different inserts, little cards. And I just put them on the craft card stock. And then, like I said, there's some journal cards that you can get with the paper set. Jewels. And I, I have to say, at first when I saw this color, I was like, wow, that don't work but it really does doesn't it I, I mean at least I like it I like that mustard with the blues and the the rose colors so really pretty um <laughs> this was very intentional absolutely intended for this pocket to be upside down <laughs> I swear I do if something in my book is an upside down then I haven't done it right uh, so I, luckily I noticed that, so when you punch the holes, they line up in a very distinct way. And of course, what, if you then turn, accidentally build your page upside down and you try to put it in, of course it's stuck out down below. So I had to insert it upside down <laughs> so that it would, you know, fit in the book, which meant that this pocket, which was supposed to be the other way, is now upside down. But, you know... I like it, right? I mean, it still works. Works perfectly as a pocket, as you can see. So, happy mistakes, right? What are they? Happy accidents. So, this is one of the journal cards. And pages. And then I made a just quick little corner pocket with some craft card stock. 
Pledge Jewel is one of those stickers. And then this is, it's either from the ephemera sheet or I cut it out of one of the, the images, I don't remember. Said so I always use all my bits. And then we have a little shit, a strip of paper and one of my little stickers from my sticker stash. And then of course, some leftover strips of paper. Like I said, I like to use all my, my little bits. This is printed vellum from Fabrica de Kuro. They have some really gorgeous printed vellum and it's, it's all about love and something. <laughs> but it's pretty cute. I really, I really like it. Really pretty. And then I just added a couple little circles. And then here's another of the punch board squares. A little blanche stomp. And again, that pulls out. And then here's another of the journal cards. And I just used some washi tape and gives you a little flip out. Now, when you do something like this, definitely, I mean, I always, if I want my washi tape to stay, I'm not using it to come on and off, run it across a glue stick. Then it'll be nice and permanent. And that helps it to really stay, especially when you're going to use it as an element like this. And this paper, this is, this and one other sheet of paper are ones, or maybe it's really just this one. Um, I added this in from a Fabrico de Caro set. I just wanted another look to the book. So I think this is the only paper that I added from that. It just flips out for a little extra room. And then this is from one of the pages. I just cut it to make a little pocket. And like I said, that excess paper Get into a little tag. And then here, if you can see, I just, I actually took a compass and just <laughs> the width of my book and then cut it out. Give me a nice little arc. And then I lessened the arc on my compass, did it again on another piece of paper, and I got this cute little pocket for a little tag. And actually, this paper's also, so it was these two papers that are from Fabrica de Coro. So this is the other paper that I added from a Fabrica de Coro paper set. And then for this page, it's just a strip of paper. And then I took one of the journal cards and glued it down so that on this side, you have this little pocket. And this is two of the journal cards from the paper set. And that is from the ephemera set, just a pretty little flowers in the ephemera page. This is another of the journal cards. And then another of the little journal cards. I just added a little, little sticker from Mustache. This is a uh, just some extra paper that I had. And I just had bits of it, so I've, I added a couple of beats, bits, <laughs> beats, bits um, from that paper. Uh, the this paper um, set had little balloons and airplanes in it, so I happened to have this piece of paper, so I thought, and it matches the color. So, and I have been the foggiest where that came from. So sorry about that. Like I said, all I had was the tiniest little bit, so. And I believe this came from Sticky, Sticky Club, and one of my Sticky Club sets. And then one of the journal cards and another of the ephemera pieces. Another frame punch board. And a piece of vellum. And then this is another of the journal cards for leftover strip made into a little tag. And then here's the plane. Really pretty. Another of the frame punch board. 
and another, and these are all, the balloons in all of these are uh, Le Blanche stamps. And so that's that cover page for the paper stash kit, <laughs> whatever it is. Collection, there you go, paper collection. This is one of the journal cards and this uh, little bicycle, I wanna say again that it came from a sticky club set. But it was definitely just in my stash. And again, I had I had one long strip of the paper. So I used one piece for the pocket and then another for this little, little tag. And this is again another of the journal cards. It's another paper. This is one of the journal cards. Just put it down to make a little pocket for another of the journal cards. And that is it. So really simple little book. And it was fun to try out my cinch for the first time, really. So I hope you enjoyed that. Give it a try. I mean, I really like the cinch, but you could easily do this with just um, rings, binder rings, um, very simple to do that and again I would make sure that whatever paper you're using if you're going to make a book like this make sure it's got some nice thickness at least to a good portion of the pages I mean of course the vellum is pretty thin but there's enough of the thicker pages within this book that it gives some, its good stability so it's not gonna yeah <laughs> on you so thanks for watching. If you have questions, comments, please leave them down below. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.